got one too. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I thank you all, and I'd like to welcome the winners of the 84th World Series, the Minnesota Twins. They're... By the way, if you'd like to move back here, keep in mind there's no astroturf here. <laughs> Rose Garden has real grass. <laughs> and I know there are a lot of people in this town who want a Major League Baseball team again. So if you guys ever get tired of... Frank Viola, series most valuable player. And you guys proved them wrong. Winning all four home games, which is the way it should have been. What with your home win percentage of 691. The Minnesota Twins franchise has come a long way in the past 86 years. It started out as the Washington. You know, one sportscaster announcing those games proclaimed, forget the decibel meter. How about the Richter scale? <laughs> Or as second baseman Steve Lombardosi said, I wish all the fans that were out there tonight could stand in my shoes and feel the exhilarating feeling. It is beyond description. Well, Steve, I'm not sure those fans... Burgess at the plate, ninth inning, this game tied up. I saw my operator on the other side of the window, with the headphones on, listening to the dot and dash from the field, and start typing, meaning that there was something Ball was on the way to the windup. Here comes the pitch. And the, he was shaking his head no, and I took it and it said, the wire has gone dead. <laughs> I had a ball on the way to the plate. <laughs> so I had Jurgis fouled it off. <laughs> and the two kids had gotten a fight over the ball. <laughs> well, this went on till I knew now I couldn't back out. I'd had him at the plate so long, and all of a sudden, Curly started typing. And I started another ball to the plate and got it. And I could hardly talk for giggling. Jurgis popped out on the first ball pitch. <laughs> but in the meantime, I had set a baseball bat for one play. <laughs> well, considering they're the only team to play in the World Series three times in this decade. And to reach this playoff, the Cardinals had to overcome the immense talent of three great teams, the Mets, the Expos, and the Giants. I'd like to thank... <laughs> so to all you champions here, and those Homer hanky-waving Minnesotans back home, Mr. President, you will extend our bet. The media's bad. You talk to these fellows for seven days. <laughs> okay. On behalf of the ball club, Mr. President, we brought along a few tokens. <laughs> and uh, also, from the wives, the wives brought their uh, a whistle along for you. Hey. Or Mrs. Ray. If you need that to referee any of your talks coming up, uh, just whip that a baby out. Thank you. you want me to hold them for you? Oh, I... Thank you very much. I'm very proud to have these.